Welcome to raigurkul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about swim lane, which is Jira swim lane. We'll discuss here how to configure and customize swim lane, creating a swim lane and applying the filter. So we'll see here practically. So swim lane is a horizontal categorization of issues in active spin of strum board or Kanban board. We can use swim lane to help us to distinguish tasks of different categories such as work stream, user, application, area, etc. So for configuration or creation of swim lane, we should have administrator account or the board administrator account. So when you will click on this three dot, you will see board setting. From this, you will be able to see swim lane section is here. So we'll see practically how we will create and customize swim lane and use it in our project. So if you are visiting this channel first time and you want to learn the Jira totally, please watch my complete Jira playlist. I will include in my description tab or if you want to get further updates, whenever I will upload a new video of Jira, you will be get notified so that you can hit bell icon for customization point of view we should have multiple options if we want to disable it we should always keep none and if we want to create a swim lane based on the different pointers so we can select any of the options when we are selecting stories so this will act as a parent issues per swim lane that is each swim lane contains all of the parent subtasks with the issue that had no subtasks appearing below. So now here we have selected stories. Let's go back to our board and see. You can see the swim lane is applied and you can see wherever we have subtasks that is showing on top and wherever we have just single line items as a user story we can see at bottom so this is the difference how we are creating for visualizing the things in less contain which is not looks good but when we have a lot of contains to apply the filter or to apply different sections that time swim lens is helping a lot now let's go back and see the next item when we want to apply through a queries here we have to write the queries so here i've already written the query or gql query to apply the swim lens by default two swim lens will be created one is expedit which is this swim lens is based on the following G query like priority so here we have applied the priority if i am using with this so whenever i will select based on the priority you can see this is the active mode let's go back to here and whatever data we have in high priority it's showing on top let me make some of items in low priority now you will see the differences rest item is showing at bottom and whatever items we have on high priority is showing on top so this is called as expedit second is everything else so expedit is showing on top or everything else is showing at bottom which is swim lanes always at the bottom of the screen and cannot be deleted it acts as a catch-all of the issue that don't match the gql of any of these swim lanes now third one is based on assignees so here we have two filter one assignee post swim lane with unassigned issues appearing either above or below the swim lane based on this filter so if we want to make it on above other swim lanes so this will be applied to above of other swim lanes you can see whatever issues are unassigned is showing on top and whatever issues are assigned status is showing at bottom so based on the filter we can apply it now go to the board settings again and 
click on based on apex when we are selecting based on apex for swim lane issues that don't belong to an epic are group below the swim lanes any epic that aren't part of the board's current filter will be hidden from the board now we also have the project settings one project of each swim lane with issue displays below with their respective projects now let's see how we will create other queries related swim lanes if we want to create a queries related swim lanes we can all write here the name of the swim lanes let's use this delete this one and then we'll add it here so priority i'm giving a name as priority whenever we are writing a swim lane we have to use jql if you don't know about the jql don't worry i've already created a one video on jql you can search it from my playlist jql is nothing but jira query language now here we we want to create a swim lane in such a way whenever we will select this swim lane that will be applicable on highest priority so here i am selecting priority in if we want to select multiple priority sets then we have to select in right now i am selecting high and comma again highest now once our jql is right it will be populated in green tick mark it means our swim lane is right or our jql is right here we can add a descriptions and post that and click on add this is how we can create a swim lane if you want to add it a swim lane simply click on pencil icon and we will get update options are available so this is how we can create an update if you want to delete a swim lane basically we can delete it one an important thing about swim lane if we are not using swim lane always keep in deactive or disable mode otherwise other people who don't have access of this board settings generally the board setting access we are having on the senior level like scrum master project manager or product owner but the tester or junior person don't have the access of customizing the board so that's why it's always suggested whenever we are not using swim lane make it disable mode whenever we will select none it means our swim lane is disabled so this is how we can create configure customize and use swim lane our regular project to prioritize the thing accordingly so that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the things if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share within your circle thank you for watching